Neville. So what I really like about Pufferfish is that you get to learn public speaking in a really fun way. Pufferfish really, really did change my life. These sessions are very informative and enjoyable. I used to be scared and nervous, but now I'm not. Not even a little bit. All three of my coaches, they are amazing. You could just laugh your head off whenever the coach cracked a joke. They're super funny. They're really friendly. The time is like flying when you get to be with them. And what I like about the FB Live is that feeling when you're done going live on Facebook, you feel proud of yourself. So join our international community. Thank you. Hello and good evening, everyone. I hope that all of you are doing great today. I'm your host, Fadl Irshan, and today's topic is an interesting one. It's about effective hobbies. So hobbies are something which all of us can relate to, right? Because it is some kind of activity which we do when we are free, instead of just you know scrolling mindlessly on social media. And I think I think that it is not correct to consider hobbies as normal activities. I think that hobbies are like a type of uh, investment for your future because it is like a way to learn and practice new things. And today our amazing set of speakers are going to talk about what they think are effective hobbies. But before that, I want all of you to uh, comment down below to what you think that are uh, effective hobbies. So first, let's bring in Methuja. So Methuja, what do you think uh, about this topic? So there are many hobbies in this world that you can do. It could be good or bad, but you should never continue bad hobbies or hobbies you aren't just interested in. So good hobbies give you opportunity to enhance your life. Uh, hobbies allow you to de-stress yourself while uh, remaining mentally product productive. Having hobbies promote better health and may lower the risk of having high blood pressure. Enjoying a few hours of hobby a week can also reduce the risk of depression and dementia. So there are many good benefits of having a good or effective hobby. It's good for you physically and some hobbies help us keep active. It also helps your mental health, improves creativity, grows you spiritually, reduces stress, strengths your relationships, improves your career and it also helps you transition into reti retirement. So, you know, if you didn't have at least one hobby, you'd probably be the most boring person ever. Well, it's very plausible since, I mean, no one wa would want to hang out with a non-creative, lazy and depressed person. It'd be really boring. So, there are, you know, there are many, many hobbies in this world. But I'm going to tell you some good fun hobbies that you can do to like enhance your life. So there's cooking, hiking, painting, sculptures, writing, running, dancing, and yoga. Those are all quite simple, but really fun activities you could do. So did you know that Mark Zuckerberg, creator of Facebook, started Facebook just as a hobby? And look where he's at now. We are literally using Facebook right now as one of the ways to stream this life. And that's why you should have one or more effective hob hab uh, sorry, hobbies. And well, that's all I have for you all today. I hope everyone has a very great rest of the day and thank you. Thank you very much, Mithija. Yeah, it's true that there are both uh, like good and bad habits and we should identify which are good and bad. And I think the most thing is the, the thing which is highlighted over there is that I like that how you roasted the uninteresting people. Like if they even exist, I don't know if they exist. And it's true that hobbies give many advantages. And I like that how you gave Mark Zuckerberg as an example. Like how he started Facebook and now how we are using it in order to uh, give messages to people. So I like that. Thank you. So next, uh, let's bring Atif. Hey, what's up, buddy? Great. How are you? I'm great. 
so uh, what do you think about this topic um, i think it's actually great i mean everyone does have a hobby i mean if you don't have a hobby like what you said you are boring i mean people do not exist without a hobby that is true everyone has a hobby i mean uh, i have many hobbies my favorite one is listening to podcasts i listen to many podcasts like impulsive and those type of podcast i mean i learned unique topics directly from experts i learned about you know successfulness i learned many things like you know podcasts are an educational tool they are were, they are a way for the common man to communicate to the masses without the use of the mainstream media this means experts from millions of industries can easily share insider tips with the masses now instead of reading confusing manuals or becoming bogged down with useless information you can learn directly from knowledgeable people in a simple effortless and free tutorial i mean i also uh, watch many movies like educational movies i mean movies are not actually bad i mean many people think those are bad but i consider them as advantages movies help me relax somewhat obviously certain films allow for a soothing experience you know watching a movie allows one to disconnect from their surrounding for a duration of time our minds are actively engaged with the television allowing eternal thoughts to thoughts and worries to fade away i mean musicals or romantic comedies are great examples of relaxing films i mean and you know movies motivate me a lot i mean fictional characters can act as motivating agents seeing an iconic character may influence the viewer to become more like that character or become less like a repulsive character certain action lines may inspire viewers to take on similar activities in their own lives for example a very passionate character may influence a viewer to pursue, pursue their own personal interests i mean it also helps to have cultural and social reflection i mean films bring awareness to social topics many that may be thought provoking and influential to viewers viewers witnessing another culture viewpoint or a background can have great effects on viewers social commentaries particularly particularly documentaries allow for an educational experience i mean and it's also a relief watching stressful movies such as horror may actually make us feel better in the long run temporary stress releases control which is automatically met with dopamine once that stress stress is erased the emotional roller coaster may be beneficial to viewers no so those are my effective hobbies and thank you thank you very much atif I really like your hobbies like uh, and I really like the fact that you listen to podcasts because you can really learn from people's experiences and failures like in crypto or in life itself and yeah. I really like the fact that you defend movies because I think that's true just because of some misleading movies the movie industry itself is considered bad like yeah. even the even the best of the best movies like which are really educational and inspiring those those also go, go in that uh, category for no reason so i really like the fact that you defended movies thank you yes thank you fadil so up next we have binagar hi everybody uh, today i'm going to t- uh, talk about effective hobbies uh, uh sometimes some people have different hobbies uh, uh, uh it may be bad or good uh, my hobby i have i ha- also have uh, hobbies some of them are riding bicycle hiking uh, watching movies uh, reading books uh, i like to talk about uh, reading books reading book is very good for our brain um, when we uh, reading books uh it can uh, get uh 
uh, good uh, knowledge from them uh, but sad uh, sad uh, tell uh, 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 at present people don't like to uh, read in books uh, they uh, use mobile phone uh, but i uh, i i like to uh, read uh, book books uh, more than read uh, watching uh, phone uh, my, my favorite novel is uh, percy jackson um, and my next hobby is hiking uh, i'm a scout uh so i i i when uh, so we go into i can i uh i went uh uh singaraja's jungle uh, that's very uh that's very yeah effective for hobby uh, my next hobby is uh, watching Uh, movies uh, watching movies also uh, good uh, but sometimes some people think uh, that's very bad uh, but if we can uh, see good films that uh, very good for our brain for uh, and we can get uh, another knowledge from it uh, my next hobby is Uh, riding bicycle uh, riding bicycle is good for brain and uh, sorry uh, health uh, when i riding bicycle uh, i uh, can see uh, different places uh, i ride bicycle with my friends uh, 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 day uh, uh, one day uh, i fell down from my bicycle uh, that's very uh, funny uh, funny uh, uh, thing for me uh, 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 fair um uh, riding bicycle is give us good uh, experience uh, my next hobby is uh, uh, gardening uh, i like uh, i like to gardening because when i gardening uh, i do many things i play with water then i get uh, happy uh, so now i'm stop my speech thank thank you thank all of thank all uh, to hear my speech thank you very much benagar i really like the fact that uh, you read books so obviously riding bicycles uh, and hiking are really good hobbies because they increase your physical fitness but the reason i like book i like the fact you read books is because i'm a book nerd myself because i also read a lot of novels and and i also like that you defend movies like artif did like uh, i like that there there are like a lot of people who who are like defending stuff here because uh, they are usually uh, like for no reason they just because of one reason they considered bad so i really like that so thank you so up next we have pemit uh, good evening everyone today i'm going to talk about my effective hobby uh, you know everyone has hobby so i have hobbies too my first hobby is basketball uh, basketball is invented by james nesmith in 1891 uh, basketball is a good sport because basketball makes you tall and it makes you active and it is very difficult uh, because we have tripling chest pass uh, bounce pass uh, overhead pass 
and most difficult one is pi difficult for me uh, uh, and basketball is dangerous because when someone throw the ball you have to catch catch the ball if you didn't catch the ball you will knock the ball on your head uh, and you go straight to the hospital uh, not everyone uh, but the children who's only scared to the ball and i play basketball in my school uh, k to college under 50 uh, my next hobby is reading books uh, when i was in grade 4 my mom bought me a book uh, called Wimpiki. but it was book 2 and I'm not interested in reading books before, but now I'm interested in reading books because it makes your knowledge and your grammar improve. So I started to read books when I was in grade 7. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pemit. Uh, yes, basketball is a really fun sport. But it's true that it can be hard as well. But it does also increase your physical fitness. But even though it has like a downside of harming yourself with the ball, I think that's it. Most sports like cricket, uh, football. So I think that's like a common problem. But still, it's a really good hobby. And uh, uh, reading books, that's, that's also a really good hobby. It'll uh, increase your uh, literacy knowledge. You'll get to know new words. You'll get to know even more stories. And there's a possibility that it could even turn you to an author. Uh, I also have written some stories because I was inspired by certain books like Harry Potter, like most like fictional books because they are like more interesting. Yeah, so thank more you so for sharing the that. Harry Potter. So, yeah, it's really it's a really interesting story. Like once you get into it, it's really hard to go back. So thank you very much, Pimit. So the next thank uh, you, Father. Thank you. So next, let's bring in Tisumi. This one, I think your mic's mute. Hi everybody. Today, the topic is effective hobbies. Now, I'm going to talk about three effective hobbies. First one is writing. One of the most effective hobbies to have is to write in your spare time. Writing is an incredible, powerful, and important form of self-expression. And it can help to channel your energies into something which you feel about and in which you can thought, dreams, and desires. Second one is meditation. Meditation has great recharging capacity. It improves focus and memory. You will through the a day just by making a little time as five minutes a day to meditate. Meditate meditation is also the best stress reliever that helps to calm your thoughts and emotions. Third one is reading. Reading is one of the world's most popular and pastimes and with good reason. There are many benefits of reading. It's also an extremely productive hobby as it can be done easily during the, your downtime and empty time in which you are doing nothing. Reading, research and studies about productivity and in turn make your learn new habits 
behaviors and patterns that will make you be more effective with your time. In short, reading can be productive by allowing you to read up on how to be productive. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Tisumi. I really like that you elaborated and went deep into the importance of writing. So that's a great hobby. And meditation. Meditation is truly the best hobby to take out stress. And finally, I like the fact that you said about reading because I think that uh, this whole, up until now, uh, you, it, it's, it has already been proven that reading is a very really famous hobby. So thank you. So next, uh, let's bring Zahir. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about uh, effective hobbies. So, my first hobby is to ride a bicycle. Let's ride a bicycle because it is good for a human body. And my second hobby uh, is uh, my second hobby is to uh, read books because the I love to read books because it is it it like it makes my knowledge fast and it makes me smart also. My third hobby is I love skate. I love to skate. Because when uh, it is so much fun, and my last and fourth hobby is to play cricket because my fa it is my favorite sport. Thank you. Thank you very much, Zahir. So I really like your hobbies. Riding bicycle is a really good hobby as well. And reading again is really common, but a, but a really great hobby because it increases your knowledge. I think most of the people here, like, uh, are nerds who read books. I wouldn't call them nerds, I would just call them people because I think the, the whole population reads books by now. But it's a really great hobby. So, thank you very much, Zahir. So, next, let's bring Himashi. Hello, everyone. So, today, uh I'm going to talk some about effective hobbies. Uh, I think uh, first I like to talk about gardening. Uh, I feel gardening is an effective hobby because um, yeah. I uh, be, uh, it's a hobby of mine uh, because uh, we can join with earth and we can get our hands dirt and i like it because i can paste some muddy in my brother's shirts and i like him because of that so there's a statement uh, called uh, plant thousand plants uh, if you cut uh, one tree like i can handle so uh, join with the name so I think it's an effective hobby. So second one is uh, cooking. I love, I love, love, I love cooking because I like to uh, prepare different types of foods, uh, and also I like to see the others' happy face when they eat the foods prepared by me. Uh, in last week also, I made a cake for my father. And I'm really happy when I cook foods and I can release my mental stress and the, forget my problems. Uh, so I think it's also an effective hobby for, especially for girls. Uh, so next one is the last one, uh, playing with my pet. I have a dog. Uh, so she's her name is Nessie, and I love her so much more than my brother. 
and I feel she loves me too, but more than my brother. Uh, uh, I feel her as my sister, and I can't tell anything for her, and I love her a lot. When I play with her, I can release my mental stress, and I can ha have a fresh mind when I play with her. So I think it's an effective hobby too. So thank you for giving me the chance. Thank you, Imus Tisumi. Uh, gardening is really an effective hobby because it helps people as well as the environment. And I like the fact that you roasted your brother twice. So my condolences to him because he's been roasted twice. So thank you. So Mr. Shweb is here to share to what his hobbies are. So Mr. Shweb, why don't you share your hobbies with us? Thank you. Thank you very much, Father Nirshan, for having me today. Um, I'm sure that you enjoyed each and every speech that was delivered and each and every individual's effective hobbies. And thank you very of much course. for giving me an opportunity to explain what kind of hobby I have. Um, I have many, but I am involved in one hobby that I don't get to do all the time. Uh, this is one of those hobbies where I need an opportunity to get it done. Right. Because uh, if I get involved in it all the time, it's going to take all my time. And then I won't be able to do the other important hobbies like making money hobbies or, or trying to drive around people kind of hobbies or finish my responsibility kind of hobbies. You get what I'm saying. Different hobbies. Uh, so this hobby is of being a good boss. Not B-O-S-S boss, but like boss, like a proper boss. And what I mean by that is getting things fixed or repairing things, refurbishing things. All right. I like to get my hands dirty with a lot of sand. Uh, I like to work with cement. I like to make sure that I'm drilling, cutting, chopping, plumbing, uh, fixing types. And uh, this time I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get involved into making and uh, setting up a complete toilet with a toilet bowl, like to do it myself. And it's not an easy thing because I've never done it before. I've never done it before. I've never fixed a toilet before. I've fixed taps. I've fixed tiles. I know how to get the level of something done if there's a problem with your socket. Right. You know, the water faucet, like, you know, something like yeah, that, yeah. those kind of problems. But this time, the entire toilet bowl itself, like, you know, how does the piping work? How do you find the gully way? Like, where does all this rubbish go? Is it going to the right place? Like, imagine that I mess up this time. It's going to be like, imagine somebody goes to the washroom and then they say there's a bad bus. <laughs> Who is this bus? Shwey bus. And the guy me, me, move the me, better girl like this. That will be a big problem. You get what I'm saying, father? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, right. Do, do you want me to show you a quick preview of what I'm doing? Because um, it's, it's, it's a very involved hobby. Like, I've got to yeah, be sure. involved in it, like, quickly. Okay. So, what? Let me unmark, unmark this. There you go. I give you a cam view. All right. Can you see this? Yes. Right. Okay. So um, this is just the things that has been taken out. And this is the room that's going to be the studio. Right? It's going to have a green screen and things like that. And this area here is for the learning and development zone. Okay. okay. All right. And through this is a corridor for a pantry. And this way, oh, don't mind the fan. I was thinking of the fan in the toilet. You know, imagine that. Uh, <laughs> this is where the toilet is meant to come. Okay. So I, I'm not bragging. But I'll okay. tell you, this hobby of mine is one of the most effective hobbies. I agree with I that. enjoy this work. I've got my tools. I've got everything. Now, you know, you've got to have right, the right type of piping that comes through. You've got to have a good bidet shower. You've got to have a slope here. And it has to got to go into the gully over here. So there's a I lot of breaking involved. Yeah. And not to mention... There's so much work with building up a studio. 
You get yeah, it? It's true. Yeah. Especially when the building is aged and it's like 80 years old. This is technically almost like 80. The building is 80. Everything that it has is like as if it's, uh, let's say... An abandoned building. And, yeah. Not necessarily abandoned. Uh, it looks abandoned. It needs, yeah. Buildings need maintenance. Yeah. Right. And when buildings are not maintained or too many people have used it for multiple purposes, which is the case with this building. Like many people, it's a rented out space. So many people have been using it. So people have been modifying it for their own needs. And, you know, uh, each time a person takes over, he keeps modifying it. Then the walls and the pillars remain intact, but everything keeps going in and out. So that's a problem. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed my effective hobby, Fadil. And uh, any questions? I'm not sure if there are any questions in the uh, comment section that I need to answer. Anything? Um, I actually don't have any question. I don't know whether the people have any question. But what I would like to say is that I think this is the most interactive live session that I've ever been in. Why do you say like, so? Like you took around and showed us a tour live. Like okay, people. Yeah, so it's like a live tour of uh, like what you're doing and like how can you uh, like improve our learning experience. So plus, I think I really agree with you about this hobby. Hobby, I think that this is the most effective one until now, which I've heard. Because uh, do you I do really things that... around the house. Do you have a toolbox? Yes, I do. Excellent. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Like like small stuff like uh, you know like at the ends of a, every like iron box near the plugs sometimes the wires of it will get uh, removed from the pillars so that should be connected right so I would do that plus I think that's the only thing which I do but okay. my father is different my father is okay. different like even though I we have a light over here there's nothing wrong with the light but he wanted to fix it for some reason like okay. he has an urge to fix everything yeah it has nothing wrong but maybe he understands. Yeah, he has, he has an urge to fix everything in the house. So, plus, actually, he's in Qatar. So, when he comes to the house, he's the one who fixes everything like for a particular reason and some for no yeah. reason. That's good. That's good. I, I think I think you have an amazing coach at home, somebody who will be able to show you um, also how to get it done. And uh, yes. I'm, I'm sure that you would spend time when he is uh, getting the work done. You are standing man as support. Because it yes. it requires a combination of wisdom and skill. Like you know, it needs yes. it needs a combination, and uh, not yes, everybody is. is capable of doing and repairing things. Also, you know, it requires a certain environment also of the person to exercise it. You know. Yes. So, so um, I think that what I think that what you're doing is that you're inspiring other people to like try new stuff by what by showing that what you're doing. Okay. Do you do you like do you like uh, this new stuff? Yes, I actually do. Okay, and I, I was like that too. Yes, I think I you should. should share the idea with more people. And the best way to share something is by getting into doing it. Yes. Right. So, so if you really want to, if you really want to uh, apply um, your most effective hobby in the most effective way it's best to get people involved in the hobby and make sure that it is also a progressive hobby. Like there should be an objective why you're doing it. You should not do a hobby because people, there are other people doing it. That's one Actually, of the biggest yes. problems. Like we, we, we get involved in replicating and copying. We get involved in replicating and copying. We don't need to replicate. We don't need to copy. Like there are some people who are like need to be inspired and move in the right direction towards that particular hobby that tailors to us. Yes, like there are some people who are like, I fish doing it. I I should do that instead of knowing that whether, like, would he be able to do that? Like whether does he even like it? Just for the sake of doing, just for the sake of beating the other person, he he does that. Like I've seen some of my friends do that, and they some some they ended up failing really badly. Some days I I'm going to do this, but didn't do it. Like indeed, some of indeed. them just yeah, they just have the idea but don't implement it. Fadil, um, I'm I'm not I'm not going to uh, take long on this conversation, but I'm really happy that uh, you gave me an opportunity to be here, 
um and also um if you could pull up anderson har and also ask him his effective hobbies he'll be able to add value towards your session and uh, on to what it is that you would like to partake in inspiring individuals as well okay then thank you for that idea sir thank you thank you so much father lisan everybody else bring in the comments wish you all the very best have fun signing up shivali okay so that was really interactive session and like shweb sir said i want mr anderson to also come here and share what his hobbies are oh hello hello Did sir shweb just you? called out my name oh, okay <laughs> right uh, my hobby is actually uh, making content uh so i do more of a comedy related content and i also like to get to know people through that uh i, I think i have some of those yeah so i have a lot of different hobbies actually like cycling is one uh uh reading is one some some of those i don't even consider them as hobbies now they are like the main things that i have stuff that you do Yeah, so I feel like they, I have to do those stuff. Even the video content that I make, I feel like I have to do those right now. Uh, so whatever the hobbies I had, they have they all have become like the main things that I have to do these days. They have become a job. So, yeah. Yes. Something yes, like Mark Zuckerberg. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think that's how it should be. So you love something, and then with time, you give a nice shape to it. You try to strategize it. you put some plans to it you add some flavors to it you add some people to it and then it becomes a nice business or a great service uh, i think that's what's happening with me right now um, so actually learning is also a great hobby i'm just learning a lot of things like if i'm making a video content i like to learn about it if i'm reading a book i like to know about that book's author uh if i'm cycling uh there's nothing much to learn but yeah there's a lot of places to discover you know what i mean yes like i can go into some small lane and then come out it's a fresh feeling especially uh you know late evening sunset time cycling if this is a hobby kind of, yeah so basically with your hobbies you get to know new places and new people and uh, have new experiences yes yeah i think that's well said short and sweet yes <laughs> all right so those are those are my ones so at the moment we are working together on building those stuff so that's this uh, shape's hobby so i'm partially into you partially into that partially in it partially in like you're helping him but not much yes, yes because i'm doing some other stuff moral support half support half support <laughs> so thank you very much sir, for sharing your hobbies and i really appreciate it and i hope that uh, the viewers also appreciate like what you and mr shweb have shared so thank you so much sir. thank you so much for having me so that was some really great uh, hobbies and some experiences from mr shweb and um, mr anderson so do we have any more people here okay so it seems that uh, everyone have shared uh, their effective hobbies so this was a really great session and a very interactive one and uh, i hope that all of you have enjoyed it too because i have enjoyed it so thank you all for watching and for dropping your comments because we value your comments and feedback so thank you very much this is your father irshan signing off okay uh, rolling we are rolling excellent right be it on stage off stage at a boardroom meeting in a conference name the location it does not really matter if you lack communication skills you're always going to feel uncomfortable even if it's a one on one conversation with a good friend or even facing something that is absolutely crucial like an interview 
communication skills is the most important element that everybody is looking for why are they looking for good communication skills let's understand this communications connect one another they bring you and groups of people together they help you bring about the message that you have and what it is that you want to bring out of yourself in order for people to have faith trust and understand what it is that you understand differently communications help understand the differences and the similarities of people join the ICP